Hello and welcome to Ginge and the Sea for another shark conservation talk. Today we're going to talk about a really important topic to understand when we're considering shark conservation and that is how and why sharks are so important to the ecosystem, to the world and to us. So let's dive straight in. So when we talk about the conservation of sharks, we must understand the fundamental reasons why sharks are important in order to make people understand why we need to protect them better. And really, the importance of sharks can be split up into two main categories, the ecological importance of sharks and then the economical importance of sharks. So let's start with the ecological importance of sharks because this will sort of lead us on into the economical benefits that sharks give. So sharks are apex predators and they have been for over 400 million years. And by being these apex predators in the ocean, they are considered a keystone species. So what is a keystone species? Well, by definition, it is a species that has a disproportionately large effect on the ecosystem relative to its abundance. So this means that even though sharks aren't the most abundant fish in the ocean, they actually play a very, very important role in maintaining the health of our ecosystems underwater, the reefs and the open oceans. And a perfect video to demonstrate the role of these apex predators and keystone species is a video called Wolves Change Rivers by Sustainable Human. I'm gonna chuck up the link up there. If you haven't watched it before, then do click on the link go watch Wolf Change Rivers before continuing this video so you can get a really good visual representation of how keystone species can impact the whole environment from the smallest of animals up to the biggest of trees and the whole ecosystem and how it works. So how does this work for sharks? How are sharks keystone species? Well, as I mentioned, sharks are apex predators and therefore they hunt a number of different fish and other animal species in the ocean. Now, by hunting all these different species and constantly putting some predatory pressure on these different species, they stop any one species overpopulating. So they don't allow any one species just to grow out of control and therefore take over a whole ecosystem like we saw the deer had done in Yellowstone National Park. They also maintain the health of the ecosystem by hunting the dying and the ill fish and this actually stops the spread of disease reaching through a whole population. So how does this affect us? You know a lot of people might say that the health of the oceans doesn't really affect us on land, we don't live in the oceans. However healthy oceans provide up to 85% of the oxygen we breathe. So this means that every other breath that you take actually comes from the ocean. So we must have a healthy ocean ecosystem in order to have the oxygen that we need to breathe. The oceans also store 25% of the carbon dioxide that we produce through carbon emissions, which is a massive amount. And also they absorb 90% of the heat that we produce through carbon emissions as well. So basically without healthy ocean ecosystems, we would be living on a very hot, very oxygen poor planet that just would not be suitable for human life. And if we want to look at a more direct effect of sharks on the ecosystem that will affect us, we just need to look at a study that was published in 2007, looking at the impact of the decline of large predatory sharks on the shellfish industry on the east coast of the USA. Now, this study found that there was up to a 99% decrease in just 35 years of many of the large predatory shark species, such as dusky, smooth hammerhead, bull sharks, scalloped hammerhead, these very large predatory species, they were declined by 99% in some areas. And with this decline, the prey species of the sharks obviously could rise unchecked and just grow out of control. And one of the species that benefited most was the cow nose ray. And so again, this study predicts that the cow nose ray uh, increased in population by tenfold in this 35 years, which is extremely fast for a species that has so low productivity. And with this huge increase in biomass of cow nose rays, their prey source, which was the bivalves and the scallops, actually were completely eradicated in that area due to the 
over foraging of the cow nose rays and this impact was emphasized as as soon as you move out of the range of these cow nose rays the shellfish industry was doing fine and actually numbers of mollusks were in increasing but as soon as you go within that range of the cow nose rays the shellfish industry was just collapsing because there was just no shellfish left as these cow nose rays were just over predating and removing all of the mollusks so we can see how without predatory species that in fact there is a chain reaction that means that actually our own industries can be impacted by it and so this brings us on to the economic impact of sharks so not only do sharks help keep our fisheries healthy as we've just shown in the study before but also they directly bring money in to shark tourism as an example bahamas is reported to have brought in over 100 million dollars each year through the shark tourism industry alone fiji brings in over 40 million a year through shark diving and in fact Handsby in South Africa, which is a relatively small town, brings in over $4.4 million every year through shark cage diving with great whites and other sharks. And so we can see how sharks directly impact the economy of countries, not just through the health of our ecosystems. And, and to really look at the value of each individual shark, Oceana, a huge ocean conservation organization, has predicted that just one Caribbean reef shark in the Bahamas is worth over $250,000 in its lifetime through the tourism that it brings to the country. However, when it's killed, it's only worth about 50 to a couple of hundred dollars as shark fin or as shark products. So we can see that sharks are incredibly valuable alive. Whether we're looking at the ecological value of them keeping our oceans healthy, the economic value of keeping our fisheries around the world healthy, or the direct economic value of the money people will pay to dive with sharks. So I think with all these factors put together, it is really obvious that sharks are highly important and really do need our protection because they are in such a rapid decline. So we're going to cover exactly what you can do to help protect sharks in another video. For now, all I'm going to say is spread the word, continue learning about sharks, learn more about individual species, about their ecology, about their evolution, tell people about how amazing sharks are, how important they are to the ecosystem, and then we can start working towards protecting them once everyone understands the importance of sharks. So thanks for joining guys, and I'll see you at the next one.